So one of the things that you'll undoubtedly hear about uh, when we move a little further is that everything in Java is considered uh, something known as an object. Now, what does that mean? Well, even before we start to build our own objects, one of the luxuries that we kind of have as being developers is someone has already come out and done a lot of work for us. Uh, you might notice that every time we write, uh, we do use, say, the scanner class. The scanner class. We have to always start writing with import Java dot util dot scanner. And you know we haven't really talked too terribly much, but what's actually going on is we're grabbing one, an object, but what we're also doing is we're grabbing uh, something that's been pre-built uh, for us. We can think of it sort of almost like a giant tool shed of what we call objects, uh, objects that we can grab from. And one of those is, in fact, guess what, the scanner class. But we have some other ones that we can work from. So one of the ones that we start to look at in chapter four is a class, an object known as math. And again, it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, someone long time ago who's smarter than you, smarter than me, came out and said, hey, you know what would be a really good idea? To have something like you know the sine method, so I don't have to worry about geometry class, or the cosine method, or the tangent method, and we can even go further and say, for example, I I just want to do some basics. Uh, one of the things we've run into working with uh, doubles is the fact that a double could suddenly become five point zero 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 one kind of annoying because I don't want to have to deal with approximation all the time I want to be very factual well one of the things that I can do is I can actually run something like round and as you can imagine guess what that does it rounds my number so how do I start to activate this and let's actually even tackle that idea of using this round method. Let's say for example I've made a double uh, we'll call it X just for you know that sake 5.0000001 I'm sure you get my point. How do I now look at this in uh, such a way that I, I, I'm able to explicitly say if x equal equal 5. You know, now I can move on to making my true statement. Right now, this is not a true statement. x, 0, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 zeros and a 1 does not equal 5 whole number. So what can I do? Well, one of the things that I can do is I can reassign x. Again, left to right association kicks in this left side, I'm going to change colors for that, this left side is my where side. It's the location in memory. So the uh, memory address. Then on the right side, this is considered the what side. This is the evaluation side. Why this matters is now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually reevaluate and reassign a value to x. x on the left side, again, is the memory address. It's the where. But on the right side is the what. So what I can do is I can say something like math dot round, that round method that we just talked about parentheses x. And so what this is going to do is, as you can guess, it's going to take our number, round it down to the traditional x 
well, traditional five, and now we can actually apply that. So let's even see that in action. So I said I had a double x equals 5.000000, a bunch of zeros. And I want to do an if statement, if equal five. System dot out dot print line. It's true. Oh my goodness. So again, how did I tackle this? One of the things that's a little different than the scanner class is math is already pre-built into Java's standard what we call library. So just to even put that on there so that it's at least on the screen within the standard library which means I don't have to do any form of an import statement I'm already uh, ahead in this case so again like I said what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I want to reassign X a value math dot round x left to right association kicks in the left side is the where the right side gets evaluated first so 5.000001 becomes 5 and then x now gets reevaluated as 5 so let's actually kind of take a look at that i pull this up java c test dot java Luckily, no compile errors. Java test. It's true! Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? We have so many things at our disposal.